welcome back for another vlog. So today I'm going to be working in the kitchen, not cooking. Well, I do have a recipe for you guys, but I want to work on my hutch for spring slash Easter. I'm not going overboard, but I do want to add some touches of spring and Easter here. And normally when I decorate, it would mostly be in my kitchen. So I'll be sharing that with you guys today. Also, let me start the vlog off with a prayer. So today's prayer is, Dear Father, your word is the compass in which I rely for my daily walk. May I be reminded to always seek your word and meditate on it. Please do not let me rely on worldly perspectives for my decisions. May I seek your will at all times and may I be able to follow you at all costs. I give my life to you, Father. You are you alone are worthy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today. I am so excited to just be in my element and just decorate and take my time. Now, when I do decorate the hutch, I have an idea of what I want to do most of the time. This time, I don't. I'm just gonna wing it. So it might take me a minute, you guys, so have patience with me. But there's a few things that I have, like. I, I bought like just two new items, but that was about it. Like all the kitchen towels and all that stuff is from previous years. I'm mainly using stuff that I've used before. It's gonna look different because this year I actually have a hutch. So, um, and whatever I don't use, I'm gonna be decluttering. I decluttered some of, some of my Easter decor last year, but here goes the fridge again. Thank you but i'm gonna be declaring even more this year so um let's get started on that all right y'all so this is my easter decor bin it's 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 something i know i'm not gonna use all this stuff i know i have a lot of ray dunn easter stuff like that's my um easter bowl right there and some mugs and stuff like that but a lot of the stuff i know i'm not gonna use so i'm gonna be decluttering that i use this little thing for destiny's room um room last year when i did her tear tray this is what i use kind of and then i had this over there last year by the stove so i don't know if i'm going to do the same thing this year i like to switch it up so we'll so see right here i have the items that i took from the hutch they're still here i might be using some of the stuff just changing the stuff out so yeah i'm trying to see how i'm gonna do it but i need to wipe down the glass real quick
so <clears throat> I'm, I want to say I'm a little frustrated, but I'm trying to, it takes time to decorate this hutch, okay? And I go back and forth to the garage. That's why I keep it all like the extra decor. I go back and forth in there. So y'all remember when I went to TJ Maxx and got this uh, planter for a plant? I feel like it's kind of shaped of an egg. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure this thing out and play around with it. One thing I do have a lot of is, is peonies because peonies are my absolute favorite flowers, you guys. And then tulips is my second. I don't know if this planter would even fit there. So let me see real quick. Let me move this out the way. Would this even fit here? Yes, it would. It would fit there. I don't want to put it on glass because this thing is really heavy. So, let me move this to this side maybe. And maybe make an arrangement with, a, with this. So, let's see real quick. I'm gonna be honest with you guys now I don't want to use this in a hutch I feel like this is a good centerpiece let's see do we have any more I feel like it's such a good centerpiece but not for the hutch oh she's so pretty I like this one thing I am pretty good at is making flower arrangements <laughs> I do have a lot of that I'll put this one right if I could find some space, I try not to have to want, don't want to have to take this back. Oh, she pretty. She look good for the table, but dang, what am I gonna put in there? What am I gonna put in there? Hmm. I just have two squares to do. So what I'm gonna do is put some of the stuff that I had on here back, like the plate set. I'm gonna put that at the bottom, but with what on it? Maybe a bunny? Hmm. And I probably put these back on the second shelf, but just turn it around where you don't see the words. It's a process, y'all.
So you guys, I absolutely love being at home and just doing my own thing, whether it's cleaning my house, cooking, just doing stuff around the house. I sometimes would play music, a podcast, some worship music. It could be anything. And I could just be in my own element, cleaning my house, minding my business, drinking my water, um, and just enjoying my own company. I really enjoy doing stuff like that around the house. So when it's time to decorate, oh, it's my favorite time, y'all. Shut up down, hanging around God oh Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall while you're alone When I think about the way took from me I keep messing with this thing right here. Just moving stuff around, turning it the other way. I took this from the hush to see if this would work there. Hmm. Maybe if I just put this back like I had it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna just leave it for now until I can think straight. <laughs>
house power wash and they sprayed the windows but the house looks great but these windows y'all see this looks horrible the window in my living room looks just as bad or probably worse y'all see this it's supposed to rain tomorrow so i'm gonna see if some of the rain will take some of that off and then i'm gonna have to go there and outside and clean it myself now the reason i'm not doing it right now is one it's going to rain tomorrow two those bees outside the pollen and bees are strong i'm not trying to get attacked okay so um i'm gonna wait till it rains and then maybe sometime next week it might be in the future video i gotta clean these windows y'all see this mm -mm. i'm gonna show you the one in the front in the living room for some reason in my living room the camera's not picking it up but let's just say it looks just like the back so that's something we have to do i think john will have to do the front because um it's hard to put a ladder right there for me to clean the top of these windows like the top ones because there's bushes right in front of my window so john since he's taller he might have to do that and then he'll do the front i'll do the back it ain't gonna be today though yeah the house looks good like when you power wash the home the outside just it gets it just looks fresh but the windows look absolutely horrible. to share with you a low carb slash keto um mexican skillet recipe is very easy to do i do not have a recipe for this so just if you want to you know try the recipe i'll just play the video again and you know or write it down while i do the step by step but it's very easy to do so make sure everything is drizzled very well with some olive oil also keep in mind to the fact that I am doubling up this recipe. So the onion that I have, um, it's a pretty big onion. It's the ones that you get from Costco and Sam's. Y'all know those onions are huge. So I'm gonna add the onion first and then I'm gonna cook that before I add the ground beef. You can do that on a regular skillet. I prefer to do it on a cast iron skillet. Cook that first. All right, y'all. So I just added two pounds of ground beef. This is the lean 93% beef. That's what I like to buy because I do not like draining uh, the meat. It's just, you know, I don't like dealing with all that grease. So I always buy the lean ground beef or the lean ground turkey. So we got mash this up first all right y'all so now that the ground beef is pretty much cooked i'm adding one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper now i kept the peppers the same like if you were to double the recipe it'll be two red bell peppers and two green bell peppers but 
I didn't want to add too much bell peppers because y'all know how Destiny is, you know, with too many veggies. So, <laughs> she trusts me, y'all. I'm telling you. So, I'm going to let that cook too before I add the seasonings. So I, a while ago I made my own taco seasoning and this is what I have left. You can literally go on Pinterest and pull up recipes to make your own taco seasoning or fajita seasoning or whatever. And I'm just adding in there. I'm not measuring. That's just what I'm adding in there. And then I'm going to add some kosher salt as well. I eyeball it very gently so I don't over salt the food. I'm also adding some garlic onion um, seasoning. You get this from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. And I'm also adding some pepper. I'm just adding some dough. And then now we're going to stir this up. It's a very easy recipe that doesn't take them that, that much time. y'all so now I'm gonna add two bags of cauliflower rice I get this rice from Aldi it's my favorite place to get cauliflower rice from I used to get it from Costco and I think these little bags is better because I can control it more now it's your choice if you want to add cauliflower rice if you want to add like actual real rice in here you can definitely do that at this point so if you want actual rice uh, instead of cauliflower rice you could actually just um, add real rice in here and that's it especially if you're making it for your kids or something like that and then I'm going to add two cans of Rotel and I make sure to just you know drain the juice I'm going to stir I'm hoping this gives us um for to, for at least lunch tomorrow. The very least, I mean, I cooked yesterday and I cooked double the portion, and it was just enough for John to take some food to work, and that was about it. So, between John and the boys, they can definitely eat. So. Okay, let that cook. All right, y'all. So I had put a lid on here so the veggies and everything called our rice can cook. Let me stir this up real quick before I add everything else. Let me move this out the way. I, I got this lid from another pot that I have that's actually quite big. Put this in, and then I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, y'all. So I have this lid. Oh, it looks so good. This up. Okay, flatten this up. Okay, so now I'm going to add some Mexican cheese. It's your choice if you would like to add this. I'm adding Mexican cheese. It's also your choice on how much you add on here. So. Okay, and then at the top, I'm going to add some cilantro. And I have a lot of cilantro. It's your choice if you would like to add cilantro.
There you go. And then that's it. So I was editing this vlog and then I realized I didn't even close out the vlog. I cooked dinner, I cleaned up the kitchen, we did homework, all that stuff, and then I went to bed to watch The Last Kingdom. I have been bitch watching that show. It's so good. So if you like Viking type stuff, which I love, um, The Last Kingdom is very good. And as a matter of fact, Netflix is getting ready to come out with the movie verse, the movie, to, I guess for the ending, um, April 14th. So uh <laughs> I'm here for it. Right now, I'm in season four, episode three. So I'm hoping by the time we go, we leave for spring break, which is next month, um, I'm already finished with it. But that show is so, so good. It's so hard to stop. So today is Friday. When you guys watch this video, it will be Tuesday. And um, on Fridays normally is when I work on my menu for the next week which is what I'm getting to getting ready to work on now I'm gonna work on my menu for next week I'm gonna add to the grocery list everything that I need and I don't know if you guys know about this app but I use the app called list ease it's a very good app it has it's hard to show you guys here but I don't know if you guys can see hold on let me see if I can okay this app right here you click on it and you can do your um your grocery so your grocery list and it categorizes everything where it's supposed to go so if you say you need bacon it goes to the meat and seafood section if you need milk it goes to the dairy section and categorizes everything so like that when you go grocery shopping um Basically, if I go to the produce section, I know that I need apples, strawberries, bananas, cilantro, whatever. It's all together. Each section of the grocery store is already categorized. So like that, um, it's just easier. It makes grocery shopping easier. So I have been using that. I love it. So I'm going to work on my menu for next week. Every, write down everything that I need to do. I'm also going to prep for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Devon's track me. So we have to do that. But... Um, yeah guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye y'all.